How's it going, everybody? I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and this is Total Chaos. It's a show where I take these two handicappers and pit them head to head. They're going to give me the over or the under on five college basketball games that are going down this Friday, January the 14th. Before we get started, I want to ask everyone to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And also check out the description of this video. Picks and Parlays and Total Chaos are now sponsored by Caesar Sportsbook. If you check out the description of the video and find the link, click on it and get yourself all signed up with Caesars. Guess what? They're going to match your very first bet up to $1,001. And there's an extra special bonus for anyone who's a resident of New York. They're going to match your first deposit up to $3,000 and give you an extra $300 in bonus cash just for coming on board with Caesars. So definitely check that out. With me today, I've got Sean Higgs from Winning Free Picks. How's it going, Higgs? Pretty good. Pretty good. I feel bad. I'm going to have to beat this guy at the same name as me. I don't know. <laughs> it's just Sean on Sean Battle. So you did beat Chip Chirimbus last week. Sean Austin, you beat Tim Earl earlier this week. How you doing, Sean Austin? Beating Tim was ugly. I went two and three. He went one and four. You know, a win. That's what happened. Win is a win. The same pick so much. <laughs> yep. That's how it goes down sometimes. So, you know, NBA is a tough one. That was an NBA chaos. This is college basketball. So things are a little bit more reliable uh, on the college hardwood than they are on the NBA hardwood. Uh, so let's get this party started. Higgs, you're going to start us off. Nebraska's at Purdue and the total's 156 over or under. Yeah, this is a high number, but you know what? I'm going to have to say over here because Purdue, they are in. They lost the game, uh, and then they came back, beat Penn State, lost a whiskey, right? And then Penn State, they won by seven, kind of like a grinder, but on the road. They're home. I think you're going to see the crisp uh, Purdue team, so they're going to go over their 85, 90 points. I think they're going to put a bunch up. Probably Nebraska. I like Nebraska. They just haven't performed. So I got to get something. This is like my – trickiest one of the thing because this all is nebraska going to score more than 60 is the problem here you know because they could just be ugly but i'm i'm going to go over i just think we're going to get a, a good showing from uh the corn huskers all right sean austin what do you think about it uh purdue is what 13 and 2 straight up and 9 and 6 against the spread nebraska has gone over more um haven't looked at the record to be honest but i think the score is going to be somewhere 85 to 60. So with that being said, I'm going to take it under. Under we go. All right. We're already off to a disagreement, so this is getting good. VCU is at St. Bonaventure. 130 and a half is the number. Sean Austin, what do you got? I have the under. Straight up. Uh, both teams have good records. I think it's just going to be a tight, tight game. They're going to go back and forth. I think defense is going to be played, so let's go under. Under we go. All right, Higgs, you see the yeah. defense being played? Yeah, I agree. I mean, VCU only scores like 60-some points a game, and against better competition, you see the pace in their scoring kind of slow down. So I think this probably plays into the 120s as well, so we'll go under that 130 and a half. All right. Davidson is at Richmond. 143 goes to you, Higgs. Yeah, I'm going over this, and this is like I like this Richmond Spider team, and they've been 10 and 6. They have not been good. They've been Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Jackass, you know, killing them. <laughs> really? I mean, they have. And Davidson's sitting at what, 13 2. Davidson's a good team. I think they're going to push it. But really, for Richmond, they haven't, they, they're shooting good. Like, what's it's at 49.8%? Davidson, Davidson's shooting the ball. But Richmond's shooting 30% from three. They can't knock a three down. But I'm thinking home, let's go. Let's get a statement win, beat a good Davidson team, put up that 80 points that you can, and let's go over the total. Sean Austin, what are you feeling on this one? I have to go over also. Davidson's 11 and 3 against the spread. That means they put up points. Richmond's still a good record. They're 10 and 6, uh, 8 and 8 uh, against, or excuse me, 8 and 8 uh, on the over under. So we're going to go over, I think, like Sean said. Um, it's just going to be points scored. Statement win. I like that mm -hmm. angle. Statement win. Uh, all right. Here's a big one. We've got Michigan taking on Illinois. 145 to you, Sean Austin. The one thing I'm looking at is Illinois is 6-2 and two at home again, or on the over. They got a great record of 12-3. and three. I'm going over. I, th I think they just keep it, keep it going, stay hot, and just drain the ball left and right. 
Yeah, this is one of those teams they really want to beat, too. Um, Higgs, what do you got on this one? Yeah, I, as you said, six and two home over. They're 10 and four in a year to the over, too, Illinois. Mm-hmm. I mean, and think, and they were missing kind of guys early in the season. So I, I, this this number is like right on point here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over two though. I just think uh, they're gonna put up their points. Right, beating Michigan's always fun, and the way Michigan's been playing can they can't play any worse. They lost two in a row. Rutgers, Central Florida, two losses on the road. Now again, another tough spot to play. So they're either gonna get just curb stomped here. Let's take Illinois tomorrow. Either way, uh, but are they gonna show some fight, and score some points? I think so. You know, so let's go uh, over that total. I'm showing that line at Illinois. It opened at Illinois minus eight, and it's already up to a nine and a half. Um, so the other thing about Michigan is they haven't played since January the fourth. That was their last game. They keep getting postponed. So there's that also. Um, all right, Fresno State at UNLV, one twenty-seven. Higgs finish us off. Yeah, I'm going under this one. I got this at like probably like one twenty-four ish. I mean, not that much. Even at one twenty-five, we're only a basket there. But you see so many scores for Fresno on road, 65-55, 69-43, 55-50, 65-57, all low scoring, all around this kind of number. So that's how the that's the kind of game they play on the road. Yeah. And listen, this isn't this ain't the run of rebels. This ain't nineteen ninety running rebels, you know, with H. Waldman running the show. Oh, there's somebody else besides H. Waldman on those teams. I don't know. Give me the under. You don't remember Larry Johnson or Stacey oh, Ogden? We're just going to leave them out? Like they never even played pro ball or anything. All right. Dave Waldman has the best record. I think he played in those two good teams at UNLV. Where undef- like they went, what, 34-1 and one and back-to-back years like that. And then he played at St. Louis when they were like 30-1-2. and, and one, two. You know, same kind of thing. So he had like 90 wins in his career, like in something insane. H. Waldman. Yes. Well, hey oh. All right, Sean Austin, do you know who he's talking about? Because I don't. Man, I, have, I don't have a clue. I'll be honest. I have right. lost right now. <laughs> what do you think this game is going over or under? Uh, with UNLV, what I have shown is they're favored by one. I just think it's going to go under. Um, they're a good home team. But it, with <clears throat> the way they're playing away, I just uh, – I don't know. I honestly don't have the best read on this. I'll be straight up forward with that, but I just feel like it's going to go under. I'm not, I'm not following Sean. I am taking my own under on that. That's important to state, but no, I'm, I agree with the under here. Fresno's always kind of hung their hat on their defense and UNLV when they get going too fast, when those rebels start running mistakes happen. So keeping it slow and low and uh, zoned into what they're trying to do, I think works well for that team. Uh, for that new Kevin Kruger team. Okay, so let's do a little bit of recapping. I want to remind everyone, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and don't forget, check out Caesars Sportsbook. The link is in the description to this video, and get yourself hooked up. We've got a promo code over at picksandparlays.net, and it's YEAR, Y-E-A-R, saves 20% off of all of Sean Higgs' premium plays, the week-long, the month-long, the year-long subscriptions. Higgs, what do you got lined up for this 2022 new year? Uh, well, we got, of course, you know, we a wild card weekend here. So that's where we're going to start, right? We got NFL, 11 and 7, 61% with NFL for January 32 and 21, 60% since December. Rolling right along in NFL action. But, you know, I can't, how about NBA for me? 10 and 3 since December 1st. So that's not doing too bad. And oh. uh, I'll take it. College basketball, 57% since December 1st. Not too bad. We're grinding it out. That's all we can do. That's all we can do, Allie. It's not a bad gig, man. It's not a bad gig. Um, so keep on trucking along. And Sean Austin, what's your record in the handicapy town right now? Thirteen and nine. I went uh, zero and two last night with um, Bulls and Mavs the money line. I, I, I thought they good before the game, but then the game started and both just couldn't couldn't get it. But yeah. we're gonna we're gonna get it back. We're doing good. So we do a contest over on the Morning Wood Facebook page. That's a Picks and Parlay show, Morning Wood, that I host. We've got a Facebook page. You guys should all join it. But we hold a month-long contest called the Handicapitan, where um, our viewers and our watchers compete for $250 each and every month. Sean Austin is always right at the top of that pack. Um, So excellent work for you, Sean. (coughs) Excuse me. All right, let's do a little recapping. Nebraska at Purdue, 156. Higgs is going to go over. Sean's going under. VCU's at St. Bonnie's, 130 and a hook. They're both taking this one under. And remember, when they agreed, those tend to be the moneymakers on the show. We've got Davidson at Richmond, 143, and they're both taking it over. We're saying Richmond has a statement win at home. Let's go, Spiders. 
Michigan at Illinois, 145. They're both going over the number. And Fresno at UNLV, they are taking it under. So that was a really good round. We got four consensus picks out of that one. Like I always say, may the best capper win. Good luck, guys. Thank you. See you guys.